Hello and welcome back YouTube. It is nine o'clock straight up. It's Sunday, August 6th. 2023, happy birthday to me. And what am I doing for my birthday tonight? Um, nothing. <laughs> I have no plans at all. I think I'm going to go to bed. I have been kind of drowsy at the wheel for the last, oh gosh, probably hour, hour and a half. I mean, I haven't had that much in the way of deliveries in the last hour, so. But yeah, I think I'm going to go to bed. I was kind of thinking about popping into, uh, whoa, yikes, suicidal kitty. Um, I was kind of thinking about popping into the, uh, Now I'm forgetting the name of the bar. <laughs> You're wondering how I'm, why I'm having trouble remembering numbers and stuff at work. I, I, I forget the name of bars is that I've been going to for over a decade. Um, 32nd Street and Thomas. I'm absolutely drawing a blank on... Oh, the Wander Inn. That's, that's what it's called. Yeah, I was thinking about going to the Wander Inn because I know I know karaoke is starting right now. But yeah, I'm pretty sleepy and I need to be up early tomorrow. So Oh, gosh. It's not like I have far to go, but I'm just so... I feel so burned out right now. I didn't... Oh, nice headlights. I never have to drive very long at night here in Phoenix before I see somebody driving with no headlights on. So yeah, I didn't get a lot of sleep today. I mean, I, I worked until at HelloFresh until 5.30 a.m. this morning, and then I was, I feel like I was about 15, maybe 20 minutes late leaving uh, because I had an issue with being able to log out on the Winolo app. My, uh, my iPhone battery died. There's not really anywhere to charge phones inside there. And, and of all the places I work at, that's one where I just absolutely don't use my phone at all. Because I, when, I'm, when I'm preparing food at HelloFresh, preparing food boxes or kits or whatever, um, like there's this whole ritual of suiting up that involves... Um, Involves putting on a hair, uh, putting on a beard net. Since I have a beard, wow, that guy was pulling his jaywalking with a stolen shopping cart. I don't know if my video caught him. It's not the first time I've seen that today. I'm seeing that a whole lot more and more. And there's the hideaway on the right. I got a new hat, by the way, instead of wearing the visor. Um, I just wanted to talk more about what happened to Domino's today, because I kind of started that story and I didn't really finish it. But yeah, this morning, um, yeah, there's really nowhere to charge. Oh, so when, when we suit up at HelloFresh, um, beard net followed by hair net, and as a Winolo or any other kind of temp, uh, it's a red hairnet just so they can more quickly identify people that aren't employees that are doing work. Although, it, it most of the management, now granted I was with back half nights supposed to date, front, front half nights, front half nights management mostly knows me. Uh, and while it was different people while I was there, like they quickly caught on that I knew what I was doing and, and like 
at one point, I had, uh, I, I don't know, he's like upper management. He was the one that was directing people, and then and he came in. I guess he was trying to run off people that were just wasting time. And I wasn't wasting time. I was just simply taking off my domino shirt and putting on, you know, layers before I went in and got cold and then going and suiting up, which I was explaining is a whole procedure where um, beard net, red hair net, then I flip my flip my hoodie up and then another red hairnet on top of the hoodie which seems asinine but it's it's hello fresh policy everybody's doing it so just you know whatever um, it's one of those win and roll kind of things it seems silly to me but everybody's doing it so why the hell not um, then um, then there's the hand wash machine I've never mentioned the hand wash machine at uh, HelloFresh. That thing's wild. Like, basically, you've got two holes side by side. You stick your hands and forearms in it, and it washes your hands. But it's, like, really weird. It's, like, sprays different types of water, and then it sprays, like, a sanitizer on it. And it rinses it, like, soapy water, and then it sprays rinsing water, and sprays, like, sanitizer on it. And, and uh... Yeah, at first I was a little disturbed by it, but not gonna lie, it feels really, really good. I'm just like, oh, that was good. I didn't want to do it again. And then there's, you know, paper towels right above there to dry off my hands. And so you do that. And then at that point, I put on the warehouse gloves, which I've mentioned I use at other places. But the, the XL warehouse gloves from there. I put those on followed by one or two layers of like surgical type gloves, like bluish surgical type gloves. And, and then after that, I put on a clean like white smock that is long sleeve and goes down a little bit past my waist. So, so yeah, it's a whole procedure. So anyway, I was getting ready to suit up and that manager came in and he's, it's like, whoa! If you don't, if you don't know where you're going, I'm like, I know where I'm going. I said, I just, I just came in with my, I just came in directly from my other job at Domino's Pizza, so I just needed to, you know, get dressed. I said I was, I said I hadn't done it yet because I wasn't really sure where to go, and I just knew Winolo reps. He's like, oh, okay. He goes, well, you may as well come back into the, into the break room because I want all the people that don't know where they're going to, to go together so I can group you all together. And I'm like, man, I, I, I said I, I know where I'm going. I said I, I. Uh, I, I can I can work in any assembly line or any kidding line. I said, I'm, I'm sure I can find a manager, find a manager that needs somebody and just get right to work. I mean, I'll, I'll be suited up in just a couple of minutes. Because uh, like he walked into the locker room and he was, and there are some people that work there that just straight up slack off in the locker room. They just hang out in the locker room. It's it's like some sometimes it's kind of like high school in there, you know. So I, I get where his mindset is, and and this guy doesn't. Know. And he was running some people off, and he saw me, and he had just saw me earlier, and it was just like, you know, and I told him I was going to go into work. I'm like, no, I, I got this, man. I'm... He's like, well, okay. I said, I said, no, you never met, met me before. I usually work front half night shifts on Winola, but I've, I've been coming in here pretty regular for the last month. He's like, oh, okay. And then I, I mentioned, I kind of dropped reference to the onion fiasco <laughs> and told him, it's like, yeah, they, they kind of put me in a, in a leadership role of building the pallets since I seem to be the most experienced with, with pallet building. <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay, cool. So um, introduced myself, shook his hand, and, and then, uh, and yeah, I told him, uh, oh, so anyway, I went in. And when I went in, uh, he had suggested going to one of like three lines, which are regular production lines. So as I was walking and looking for those, I just overheard like an area manager and a lead. I don't know the names of all the management positions, but I know them when I see them by what they wear. And and I, you know, I overhear when they're looking, when they're trying to get bodies to fill positions to get things working. And so anyway, I overheard somebody that was like a, you know, an area lead saying to an area manager, yeah, I need some more people. I need X many more people. Like, I think it's three or four. Not a lot, but just a few more people. I need X many more people over an EP, which is short for every plate 
It's one of the different product lines that they have. At yeah, HelloFresh. HelloFresh.com. Check that out. Um, I wish I could get a referral bonus for that. <laughs> anyway. Um, but she said, and, and there was an unusually large amount of people from Winola there that day, and mostly new people. So I get where they're coming from. Like, oh, we got all these new bodies that don't know anything. You know, that may have done the digital onboarding, but most people don't pay attention to it. And to be fair, like, the digital onboarding is not really... It's mostly a waste of time. Um, I mean, it shows you some basics, but most of it's common sense. And then once you're in there, like, it's a whole other animal doing it. At least it is for me. But... But, yeah, the one gal says to the other gal, to the upper managers, like, I need, I need, I need to get four more people but she goes but I can't I can't have any Winolos I need people I need people to know what they're doing over at EP and I and and I just happened to be walking right by and I don't know either of them but I just pod just piped in since I was standing right there I said I said uh I said I'm a Winolo but I've been coming here for a month I I know every plate I, I know most of the positions in every plate she's like really okay well what have you done because they don't have time to train anybody. Like, they're ready to, to go over there, you know. And and have you have quotas and stuff to meet. And, and I said that I'd done, uh, done meats, meats, ice, and I'd also done, done recipes and sealing the boxes. She's like, oh, oh, I can really use you on ice, actually. So that's what I did all night. So it was really funny how she said, you know, specifically said, oh, I, I can't have any Nolos. And then I immediately identified myself as a Nolo, but I said what I do how to do. And, and then suddenly like, oh, I don't want to, I can't have any Nolos, except for this guy. He seems to know what he's doing. And kind of funny, like there were people that actually, I think, were actual HelloFresh employees based on what they were wearing versus what I was wearing that kept messing up on boxes and I kept catching them because part of the procedure is you're supposed to look at the screen and see what the box number is and then look at your box so that's what I got in trouble with with Africo no bottoms 2.0 was that I was looking at the box and then looking at the screen which every other manager's like what the fuck difference does that make I'm like I don't know but it seems to make him think I'm messing up and somebody told me you need to look at the screen and then look at the box i said i'm just verifying that the number is correct i said he should be grateful i'm actually verifying i said see half the people don't bother but yeah i i i was in the third position down which means there were two other people plus the people that were building the boxes and doing the labeling that numerous times didn't catch that the box that was coming to me and they're supposed to be in the same order of the numbers that pop up on the screen that the boxes didn't match i i want to say i probably caught six or seven last night so hello and welcome back youtube it's 9 18 p.m still my birthday sunday night august 6 2023 and yay just got my sip and save drink my favorite circle k cashier over there i should know her name by now i've known that woman for years um which is just odd, like that she's worked at that same Circle K for that many years. That's not the kind of job people keep for that long. But, but uh, yeah, there was one day I ran, back when I was doing scooters, ran out of gas in my bins and didn't quite make it to the pumps. And she actually came out, my bins is so heavy. And she actually came out and helped me, helped me push my bins up to the pump. So she's kind of been my hero ever since. And, while she can't fix the Circle K soda fountain, on her watch, everything that's out actually has a yellow sign on it saying out of order, which is which is really what I ask. You know, I it gets so frustrating when I'm trying to get a drink at the soda fountain and I just keep getting blasted with, you know, just water. And, although she doesn't have it doesn't have the signs on the, <coughs> the little Circle K water. Uh, at least the two flavors that I like, the triple berry and the, uh, the tropical, both of those were just putting out water. And then there was one for like strawberry lemonade. That's not, that's not Circle K water. I think it's, ah, I forgot the 
brand, Minute Maid. I'm, it might not be Minute Maid. It's, it's a name brand though. And yeah, it was just putting out water. So I went with the Pink Brisk again. Yeah, I want to say I want to carbonated or caffeinated beverage right now. I'm heading myself right to bed. So, um, I didn't get out my story about um, what happened to Domino's today. Oh, and, and as I was pulling up Circle K, I ran out of space on Obama Phone 3 again. So much fun shooting video on the iPhone right now. So I, I would imagine much of it's going to be out of focus because that's how it shoots video at night. So hopefully y'all listened to the first part because it's probably a, a different video at this point. But I assigned... I, I, somebody said yes, put those two together, and I assigned two, the next two deliveries, which I pulled from the oven and cut and prepped and bagged up, and I believe dispatched, which means I assigned them to them and then sent them out, and then I called out that driver's name. Hey, you got your, your deliveries are up, and I don't, I don't know everybody's name. I know Marlene's name. She's the older, uh, uh, older Latina that I find super freaking attractive. She came in just to kind of hang out tonight. She went to went to church. So she was all dressed up. Looks so good. Um, I'm like, are you even working, or just come in to, to show us how much better dressed you are? Than and the rest of us. She's like, oh, I just came in to check my schedule and talk to somebody. And I guess she said one of the guys that works there is her son. I didn't realize that. And I still don't really know which one of the guys is her son. So it's a little embarrassing. But anyway, she told me she remembered it was my birthday. That felt good. She's like, it's your birthday today. And I said, yeah. She goes, happy birthday. That was sweet. Um, I know she's older than me. She hasn't told me her age. At one point, she's like, well, how old do you think I am? I said, well, I said, it's, I, I, at this point, it's pointless to even say, because I just assumed you were in your, your like, mid-40s, <laughs> and, and we've already established you're older than I am, so, and she just laughed at that. Oh, shit, I forgot I was getting gas. I am on fumes. I need to do that right now. Last thing I need to head out for work in the morning and then not get there, because I'm not very clearly when I head out to work in the morning. Damn it. You know, when I was driving right past the AM PM on the way to Circle K and I was thinking about it, and then I forgot about it. Really need to get back into my Costco credit card place and my balance to a point of not completely whack and get back on the routine of topping it off. Now with Domino's, I can go through even more gas than normal. Which is fine. I have cash in my pocket. Right here. And we'll, uh, I did okay with tips today. I'm not going to say I did great with tips. And to be honest, I'm not really keeping track of it. But, but I feel like I did good with tips today. And my transmission's doing that thing. It usually does it when I'm driving slow like this. It's not so bad on major streets, but when I'm driving slow, it just kind of slips into that weird, weird. It's not neutral and it's not first gear, but but yeah, I can't. I I can maintain the speed with when I'm in that, but it it's not. I don't know. It's hard to describe. But when I'm doing it, I'm I'm probably driving around 15, 20 miles per hour maintains that speed but doesn't want to go any faster than that and and then the speedometer just stays at zero when it does it like it's doing it right now oh, and there it goes in a second yeah this transmission is totally on its last legs although I'm really hoping that with the change in my schedule that I'm just going to be doing two nights a week after this week of course because I'm scheduled quite a lot this week for Domino's, but hopefully by next week I'll be doing 
just two nights a week of dominoes and then the rest of the week MLS and not much beyond MLS and, and hopefully I can do the, the bus and the SkyTrain to get there and not have to put any more wear and tear in my car and gas on those days. And, and speaking of the bus, um, I've definitely had let enough time pass since I lost my bus pass that day that I left it. And, um, left it at Bullock's Cocktails. The last time I went to Bullock's Cocktails, which was the day there was the big fire over near 40th Street and Palm Lane, that day, and the day the day I went out, out there and the new owner absolutely refused to fill out the form for uh, DES to let them know that I don't work there. That was some stupid shit. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that I left, left my bus pass, which I had just swiped that day, brand new 30-day bus pass. I feel like it's been 30 days since then. Are awfully close to 30 days, and definitely, I can. I'm to the point where I could go over to uh, probably probably been over weeks since I've been past the point where I could go over to uh, oh, damn, looks like my car is over. Takes this is me driving on slow streets and it just yeah it's not overheating overheating but it's about the three quarter mark which means it's running kind of warm probably shut it off while I'm sitting there because this is a long red left arrow I hate red left arrows it's stupid I should just be able to go when I see there's no oncoming traffic. Damn, I completely lost my train of thought. I'm tired, so I'm not very well focused today. At least I'm not focused now. I was very focused earlier. Oh, so anyways, I was saying I, I can uh, I can go back to the uh, Choices Clinic. No, that's not right. Lifewell Clinic. I can't remember the name. They want me to remember a number, and I can't remember the name of my mental health clinic that I've been at for years. Oh, God help me. Um, Lifewell. Yeah, I can go to Lifewell and get me another. Uh... Wow, look at that line for canes. That's crazy. You know, their chicken fingers are good, but no way in hell I'm waiting on line like that for. So, yeah, I can go over to, uh, over to Choice Lifewell. <laughs> so I always wanted to call it Choices. Go over to Lifewell and get, get a new bus pass. And that'll be nice for getting myself over to, uh, over to MLS for my new shift when that gets started. And, and that reminds me. I'm pretty sure this week I have my appointment with Social Security. I hated that they set it so far off in the future. And if memory serves, it's this week. I hope I didn't miss it already. Yeah, I need to look that up as soon as I get home. That's important. I don't need to miss that. Those are so hard. Those appointments are so hard to get. Especially they all want to do them on the phone, and I'm not good with stuff on the phone. So I actually managed to get one scheduled where I'm going there and meeting them. Chris, I got a feeling that when I have this meeting, that it's end up not really going anywhere just based on how much I'm working now. I got a feeling that they're just gonna Social Security's just gonna look at it as, oh well your your mental health is good enough for you to do all this working, so you don't need any mental health safety net. But it's not like my mental health conditions have gone away. The open sign is not lit up. I, I sure hope they're actually open. 